Alright, so I wanted to record this video, if my controller stops floating around on me, to um, explain how to <clears throat> adjust the uh, bindings for um, drop-in for index users. So if you're here, right, um, you would go to your settings and you would go to edit this binding. It'll be drop-in battle royale, right? So you go to edit this binding, and it'll bring you here. And the only thing that anyone will have to adjust um, is when you scroll down to the uh, grip, right? It's going to say use the button, left grip, button, left grip, touch on both sides for right and left, right? Now, if you go to edit here, there's this little cogwheel. Most people don't know this is here. If you click this cogwheel, which let me change my right because I'm a little bit more precise with my right. <clears throat> Your click activation threshold and deactivation threshold, at default it's going to be like in the middle. So just scoot those down to like 10 or 15 and you should be good to go. And uh, I haven't done my right one yet, so... Um, You'll, you guys will be able to see the default value. So, yeah, it's it's crazy high. Look, it's like 80 over here. So, you just scoot these down. I think I'm at activation threshold, yeah, 10 and 10, right? Touch isn't really something we use in drop-in. Um, the haptic stuff you can just leave alone and then it'll save this right after it gets done saving which I don't know how long it's going to take to save but after it gets done saving you just go back into the game well I think I'm standing in the wall here um, let me raise this up. But now you can see I, it's really easy. I don't have to squeeze really hard to uh, pick anything up. It's, it's just, it's basically you're just kind of closing your hand around it. And that should be it. That should be literally the only adjustment you'll need to make for index controllers.